Marshall. Señora Cranston. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Espero no molestarla, pero no. el señor Cranston quería estos informes, así que los he traído lo antes posible. Bien, gracias por haber trabajado esta tarde. Bueno, ya sabe, hoy me tocaba trabajar hasta tarde. Será mejor que me vaya. Ah, Marsha, verás, he encontrado esto y otros cinco más en la mesa de trabajo de Kirk. Sus micrófonos. Los cogió para esa conferencia y olvidó devolverlos. Tendré que hacerlo yo mañana. Espera, ¿trabajas hasta tan tarde los martes? Sí, casi todos. Y el señor Cranston también, hay mucho trabajo. Hace dos semanas, ¿se quedó hasta última hora? No, creo que no, porque fue la noche de su accidente. Oh, no, that's right. That's why he wasn't there. No, that's exactly right, who it was. Kirk? Sí. ¿Cómo está? Bastante mal. ¿De verdad? Todavía no hemos localizado a Aiden, así que no lo sabe. ¿Dónde está tu padre? Buscándola. Hay un problema en el casino que creo que debes conocer. ¿Sabes de qué se trata? No tengo ni idea. Deja que te diga una cosa. Lo que pasa en el casino no es responsabilidad mía. Kirk ha ocupado sí, mi sitio. tienes razón. Esto no es asunto de ella, Sam. Esto es asunto tuyo y mío. Olvídalo, Kelly. Nosotros nos ocuparemos. No se trata solo de negocios. Tiene que ver con él. Te lo advierto por última vez. Déjalo. Me ha hecho muchas advertencias últimamente. Pero quiero que te enteres de esto. No quiero tener nada que ver con Dylan, Sam, ¿de acuerdo? Eso lo comprendo. Después de haberte tratado tan mal, me figuraba que llegarías a este punto. Quería que tú lo supieras, por eso he venido. Kelly, ha habido un malentendido, eso es todo. Un malentendido, no mientas, lo tramaste todo. Mirad, no sé de qué se trata, pero no quiero tener nada que ver con él. Ni siquiera para vengarme, ¿vale? Y quiero olvidarme de que lo conozco. ¿He hablado claro? ¿A que sí? Sí, muy claro, pero es algo que no solo tiene que ver contigo. También con el señor Lockbridge y con tu padre y con todos los que trabajan en el casino. Hay algo por ¿Cómo y puedes hacerme esto? Hay que limpiarlo. ¿Eh? Escúchame. Cuando te encontré no eras nadie. Un cero a la izquierda. Pero te recogí, te tuve conmigo. Has sido un peso muerto en mi espalda durante años. Ya está bien, Dylan. Aquí no eres el jefe de nadie, ¿vale? Bien. Anda, díselo, díselo. ¿Pero qué pasa? Vámonos, vámonos. No quiero tener nada que ver con esto, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, claro. Nick, ¿podemos irnos, por favor? Sí, voy a llevarte a casa. Tengo que encontrarme con alguien ahora mismo. ¿Es con la persona con la que hablabas por teléfono? Sí, sé que detestas los secretos, pero por favor, perdóname este. No, not yet. I didn't get a chance. I guess this is going to be the first official announcement. Why? Kelly and I have decided that we are going to be married the day after tomorrow. Haley! Haley! Why didn't you stop her? Well, she's obviously in a hurry. Where is she going? No, I have to stop her. She's got Gina, the get back inside. Don't be stupid, okay? Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard what you said. So what? You go running around in your robe, people are going to stare at you. I've got to catch her. Look, now, you said she's got the tape? That's right. She said she's going to take it to the police. I can't let her do that. It's not yet. She's already gone. Esa cinta puede acarrearnos muchos problemas. A ti también. A mí, ¿de qué estás hablando? Anda, ve a detenerla. Espera un momento. ¿Qué hay en esa cinta, Gina? ¿Y las llaves del coche? Están en la mesa. Debe haberlas cogido. No te preocupes, no hay problema por ese lado. No va a ir muy lejos. Deja de hacerte el listo y vea por ella. Worry about it, Gina. And bring her back here and don't you dare her. You lay a finger on that girl and you'll be in trouble. Gina, you can stop with your threats, okay? We've had enough. You know, you've already got me scared to death. Hey, 
Move over, sweetheart. It takes an expert to start this baby. Angel, don't be mad at me. I was just going to borrow it and bring it back. Yeah, well, you could have asked first, don't you think? Yeah, maybe I should have. Look, Angel, I have to take this... I have to take this somewhere fast. Well, the police? Were you going to say police? Yeah, maybe. Okay, yeah, the police. Look, they have to hear that Gina hasn't done anything wrong, that she's innocent. If she doesn't look out for herself, then I'm going to have to look out for her. Well, yeah? If you don't, if you let me do this, you can have her off her hands, Angel. You won't have to hide her anymore. She'll go back and she'll live with the Capitol family. Yeah, but I don't think she wants that, Haley. She asked me to come out and get the tape, so why don't you just give it to me? What is the matter with you? I am not making a pass at you. I just want the tape. Scare me. Why won't you let me have this? How do I know? But I do know she wants it back. See, I want to hear it before I give it back to her. So will you please just give it to me, please? Thank you very much. I just want to listen to it. Well, she doesn't want you to listen to it, Angel. Well, you want the world to hear it, don't you? So I'd, I'd like to be a preview. You know, after all I've done for her, things broken. Okay, so just give it back. Boy, you really, you're really pretty close to your aunt, aren't you? You really stick up for her. I love her. She's been good to me. I just don't feel that she's had a fair deal with the Capital family. Well, maybe you're right. See, I haven't known her that long. I just, I just met her a couple well, days ago. Well, if you ago. did know her, then you'd know the pain that she's been going through. The unhappiness. All she wants, Angel, is to get her son back. Oh, yeah, what do you care? Look, I don't like the way people have been treating her. She deserves better. She doesn't deserve you yelling at her, either. Hey, I am sorry if that bothered you. But, you know, you, you don't know what your aunt has been putting me through. Yeah, I've been trying to help her, too, you know. Yeah, right. Uh, thanks. You see, what I don't like is getting mixed up in business that's none of my business. And with her, it's just, I just keep getting sucked deeper and deeper all the time. I don't know something about her. See, I figure if I can just find out what's on this tape, I, I can understand things a lot better. It's broken. Hey, come, will you come back? Why are you running away? I am not, will you just, I'm not going to hurt you. Haley! Yes, thank you for coming. I hope you didn't tell anyone that I asked you to meet me. No, I told you that I wouldn't. Well, I don't mean to be so mysterious. It's just that I would like to keep this between the two of us. Are you in some kind of trouble, Edith? No, no, that's not it at all. Okay, well, I'm here to help. Well, I would like to hire you as a private investigator. All right. Does this have to do with capital enterprises? No, no, it's a, it's a personal matter. I can't really explain much to you because I have really go on and absolutely no proof. So if I'm wrong... I don't want anybody to know that I suspected anything. I see. If I'm right, it's much too dangerous for me to investigate myself. And it's only fair to warn you that it would be very dangerous for you if anyone found out what you were doing. Fine. Now, do you want to tell me what it is I am doing? Well, I'm sorry. I know this sounds a little idiotic. No, you just sound confused, and the whole thing sounds rather serious. Oh, if it is... Why didn't you go to Cruz with this, even without proof? You know he would help you. No, because I can't get Cruz involved for his own sake. Now, I'm sorry, I don't want that to sound like I don't mind you getting into trouble. It's not that. It's just that I think there would be a lot less risk for someone like you than, say, Cruz. Now, I can't explain that either. I just ex I hope that you'll just accept this evaluation. Eden, I'll accept anything you tell me. Now, what is it you're talking about? Okay, before we go any further, I want to show you something and tell me what you think. It's a piece of wire. What well, about I, it? I, I think it's used in, in audio systems or something. I'm not really sure. What I hope that you can do for me is find out where this brand can be found locally. And uh, that's about it, really, for, for starters. Do you think you can do that? I think so. I have a friend who's into audio visuals. He should be able to tell me something about it. Well, how soon can you find out? Can you do that right away? Yeah, I can let you know something tonight. If he's home, I'm, I'm sure he's still awake. Well, I appreciate it. Now, what if you find out that this was purchased locally, then what? Well, I'd, I'd like to find out who bought it. Uh, maybe they have a list of customers or something, and if not, then I'm out of luck and it doesn't matter. Fine, we'll play it your way. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, I have some personal news that may be of interest to you. Kelly and I have decided we're going to be married the day after tomorrow. Are you serious? Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. That's fabulous. When did you decide to do this? Uh, tonight. Well, I'm I'm happy for the both of you. You don't think that this sounds like it's, uh, you know, a little soon, a little... Well, no, I mean, it's not sudden, but it's not impulsive or anything. <sighs> I just wanted to know how you felt about it, how it struck you. Do you think it's impulsive? No, 
but it's Kelly's idea. You know how she, she rushes into these things without thinking them through, and I, I just hope she's not doing that now. You know the old saying, marry in haste and repent in leisure. I don't want that to be the case with us. I really don't think that could be the case with the two of you. I'm so happy for the both of you. Thanks. I have an errand to run. Good, let's go. Thank you. I saw him out to the car. Did you get a chance for her to listen to you? She doesn't even want to hear your name, Dylan. Her mind's on the wedding. Can't say that I blame her. Sam, there's no reason for you to go to anyone about this. I've learned my lesson. What, that you won't get caught at it again? I mean, you'll have my word that I'll pay the money back, Sam. Well, that's just dandy, Dylan, considering we have no way of finding out who lost how much or at what table. No, I'm saying that I will pay all the money back to the casino. Okay. You've been skimming the excess off the top, haven't you? I bet you don't even know how much money you've stolen. I know. I kept two sets of books. With the croupier and bricks, the seats, they've got to work out. Beautiful. Now I'm beginning to get the picture. You were setting Brick up to take the blame, weren't you? And especially after that phony embezzlement rap that he was charged with, people probably would have thought it of him. I tell you what, oh. if you take this to the papers to try to have the casino closed down, I'll deny everything. My God, how low can you be? Why must the employees lose their jobs? Why do the investors have to lose their investments? Just because you got too greedy. Why do other people have to pay for your sins? So what are you saying, huh? You just want to forget everything? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just not going to close the joint down. I've got a much better idea, Dylan. I'm going to take it all away from you. <laughs> they said it was hopeless. Head called from the hospital. You said the doctor seemed to think that Kirk's condition is terminal. Maybe he has a week or so. You know, poor darling Eden doesn't even know about it yet. Eden doesn't know why. Ted said that Kirk's condition is called... Oh, what is it called? Cardio, cardiomiopatía. Nunca he entendido por qué no les ponen a esas cosas nombres más sencillos. El latín es una Madeleine, lengua muerta. Madeleine, tengo que ir allí oh, ahora no, mismo. No, querida, no puedes hacer nada porque me gustaría que te quedaras conmigo. Ahora me da mucho miedo quedarme sola en casa. ¿Qué quiere decir ahora? Con todo este nerviosismo no he tenido ocasión de decírtelo, pero ha habido un robo esta noche. ¿Cómo? Sí, ha desaparecido un valioso collar de perlas que mi querido esposo David me regaló. ¿Has llamado a la policía? Sí, he llamado a la policía. Estaba obligada a hacerlo. ¿Qué más se han llevado? Seguro. Um, bueno, no lo sé. Yo solo sé lo que me falta a mí. Escucha, ya hablaremos más tarde. De verdad, tengo que irme al hospital, ¿eh? Bueno, vete, vete. Si tienes que hacerlo, no te resultaría tan divertido si te hubiera pasado a ti. Hola, ¿Y Kevin. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Hemos estado buscando todos. ¿A mí? ¿Por qué? ¿No has hablado con papá? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué ha pasado? Hide. Es Kirk. Lo han encontrado en su coche en el aparcamiento del hospital. Dicen que ha sufrido un ataque al corazón. Y que hay complicaciones, Eden. ¿Cómo? Escucha, no sé toda la historia. Lo único que sé es lo que me ha contado Madeleine. Y no me fío de ella en lo más mínimo. Pero me ha dicho que Kirk está en la unidad de cuidados intensivos y que Ted está con él en el hospital. Papá ha salido a buscarte. Eden, ¿por qué no dices nada? Estoy tan impresionada que no sé qué decir. ¿Estás bien? Ya sé, bueno, lo siento. Déjame que te lleve al hospital. Sí, hospitales. claro, debería estar allí. Right, come on, let's go. We'll take my car. Okay. Courtney, uh, the limo is vacant. May I take you home? Thank you. I guess there's no reason for me to stay here anymore, is there? Sí. Are you okay? Yes. Do you mind if we sit down here for a second before you take me home? I'd like to get my bearings. Por favor, ven, siéntate. I feel so terrible for Eden and Kirk. They were so young and so much in love. I'm sorry that it hit you so hard. 
Precious, I've never seen a man die before. Oh, no, no. Uh, Kirk, he hasn't kicked the bucket yet. <laughs> well, not yet, but you, you know. What, where you come from, uh, people live forever. Some kind of Shangri-La. Mm. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, boy. You and your sister, you are birds of a different feather. Yeah, I guess we are. Although I don't know why. We had the same governesses, we had the same private schools. Mm. Sounds kind of lonely to me. Well, you know, Mother and Dad, they were almost always traveling. So it was just the two of us. Madeleine se peleaba con todo el mundo. Yo elegí apartarme de eso, quedarme en el castillo arriba en una de las torres. Dime, ¿has empezado a bajar ya? Sí, creo que sí. La verdad es que últimamente he empezado a imponerme a Madeleine. Tú fuiste mi primera victoria. El mayordomo. Sí. Sabes, nunca he conocido a nadie como tú. Yo de ti podría decir lo mismo. You mean? I don't believe it. Yeah. Well, hadn't we best be on our way? I don't There's been no change, Mr. Capo. I'll keep you posted. Thanks. Oh, Haley. Hi. Hi. Has she heard about Kirk? That's the way. Well, the doctor said that he doesn't have much more than a week to live. Oh, Kelly, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, it's been quite a blow. Look, I was looking for you earlier at the house. I, I couldn't find you. Uh, well, that's because I, I had to go out to meet somebody. Well, I'm glad you're here. I am too. You know, I keep thinking about how brave Kirk is. I mean, what a fighter. I mean, can you think uh, how much pain this guy was going through and the, the fear he must have felt? Oh, and then somehow, somehow he got his strength together and he drove himself here. I can only imagine. Now they got his machine, his silly machine hooked up to his body, pumping his heart. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you on. No, I'm Ted is okay. I'm just worried about her. You were the only one in the house when the theft occurred. Uh, unfortunately, yes, aside from the butler. Can you show us some ID with your boss and address on it? Oh, well, as a matter of fact, yes, I, I have my driver's Go license on. right here. Uh, my pearls were stolen, Ted, and they're practically priceless. Madeline, you probably just misplaced them. Ted, one does not misplace a fabulous string of pearls. Do try not to be so idiotic. Well, listen, has uh, Haley gotten back? Haley, with everything that's happening, you expect me to keep keep an eye on the help? Really? Now, is there anything else I can help you with? I really do want a very accurate report from my insurance company. The police car, Pearl. Yeah, there's no doubt they're trying to figure out what happened to the cookies. I suppose. Oh, I almost hate to go inside. I know how upset everybody's going to be, and it was so peaceful for a while. I have you to thank for that. Yeah, I enjoyed talking to you. Quite frankly, I uh, thank you. I don't trust the butler. How come you don't? Well, he's new, and I doubt that he has very much in the way of credentials. And, you know, I, I don't like to cast aspersions on anyone, but one look at him would tell you what he's like. And anyway, I, um, I put my jewel case right here on the table, and I went into the study for a few minutes, and then when I came out and I went upstairs, I, I discovered that my pearls were missing. Come to think of it, so was the butler. Well, no, but it really would be just too stupid.
stupid of him to steal from people who are nice enough to give him a job, wouldn't it? Well, if he was the only one in the house, we should talk to him. There he is now. Haley? You there? Hello? Dios mío, mis notas de inglés de este semestre. No, no, I go back from the hospital. You didn't. I told you not to go there. It's too dangerous. Well, nothing happened. I ran into Ted there, though. Thought I was there just, of course, to check on Kirk. Well, which is true. Well, that's okay. How is Kirk? He's very sick, Aunt Gina. I think he's going to die. Oh, no. He's on this life machine. Ted was telling me how... He had this heart failure, and, and they don't even think he's going to make it through the week. And he really did have a heart attack. I guess he was born with a heart condition. I have never felt so awful in my life. I never lie, and here I'm, I'm lying to Ted, I'm lying to everyone. And now Kirk, Kirk, he's going to die. He's going to die because you and I didn't get him to the hospital in time. Listen to me, Haley, we did the best we could under the circumstances. He's young, he's strong, he's going to recover. Oh, yeah, so now you know better than the doctors. And, Gina, I'm telling you what Ted told me. He's living off of a machine. All right. If Kirk dies, I give you my solemn vow that I will come forward and I'll tell everybody everything. But he's not going to die. Well, if he doesn't, it's no thanks to us. You probably think that I'm to blame for the condition Kirk's in. Well, that's not fair. You said yourself it's a congenital problem. Anything could have set him off. Yeah, like your fight. No, that wasn't it. Look, you've been through a lot tonight. It's been a terrible night for both of us. I'm, I, I'm in shock. But Kirk is going to get better. They have all kinds of things they can do for people now. Funny. They think it's hopeless. i got to get back to the house. I'm sorry it's been such a terrible night for you. Let me at least call you a cab. No, sit down. I'll find you. Are you sure you're going to be all right? I'm really sorry. Call me in the morning. Gina, you know, what are you going to do with the tea? I'm going to keep it till I need it. I really wish you'd let me take it to the police. No. For your own good. But we can't do that. I don't know if I want to take it to them yet. I want to see what happens with Kirk. I mean, if, if he dies, maybe I will. Even if it's for your own good. Even if it's the only way to clear your name. Okay, well, just let me make my own decision on this, okay? I'm going to do what I think is best. Come on, get some rest. You better not die, Kirk. Cardiomyopathy is a disease that can occur without any known causal agent. It brings about the eventual disintegration of the heart muscle. And right now, there is no effective treatment for this condition. Now, I'm not saying conclusively that this is the case with your husband, but all the signs do seem to point that way. When will we know for sure? I'm going to be consulting tomorrow morning with the head of cardiology here, as well as a specialist that your father is having flown in. Well, after that, we should be able to make a more complete 
diagnosis. Can I see him? Yes. That's all. I'll see if you can go in a few minutes. But I have to warn you, he's very weak, so you won't be able to stay very long. Excuse me. Oh, oh Amy, it's so unfair. Kirk is so young, and you two have been, what, maybe two months? Well, we'll just have to wait and hope that something can be done. I heard about your news. You and Nick are planning on being married? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope that whatever has happened won't change your plans. Promise me that. Oh, even we can't go ahead with the wedding right now. Well, that's nonsense, please. I want you not to wait a week or a day to marry me just because of what happened to Kirk. I want you to go home and I want you to tell Daddy that the plans are still on. Not only that, but I want you to tell him that Kirk and I insist. Will you please promise me that? I'll only do it if you'll try your best to be there. Right I by my side, though. Do everything I'm doing. Right. Excuse me. It'll be just a few more minutes and then you can see your husband. Thank you, Doctor. Um, Kelly, I'll see you at home. And remember what I said? Okay. All right? Doctor, uh, if what you're saying is true, if that really is the case, then nothing can be done. Nothing. Well, there is one thing. One thing? What is it? But his condition is so bad that it's practically impossible. Well, tell me what can be done. Well, he could have... A transplant. A heart transplant? Yes. And please, it's not something to hope for, not yet. I mean, there's so many tests that have to be run. Our problem right now is just to keep Mr. Cranston alive. You do understand. I don't want you to get your hopes up. But please, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't even mention the possibility of this to anyone. Not yet. Look, I'm getting out of here. Sit down, I'm not finished yet. They're closing, Sam. Don't worry about it, Dylan. We're not in anyone's way. All right. Look it over. Sure it's in order. What is it? Read it. Why don't you just tell me what it is? Why don't I just give you a hint? Partly, it's a wedding present to Nick and Kelly. And the other part is a gift to the people in Santa Barbara that you walked all over. Now go ahead, read it. Not, not sure you catch the fine print. Not interested. Well then, my dear friend, Mr. Hartley, you had better get interested. Because we're not leaving here until this is settled. What is this? Why do you feel a need to crucify me, Sam? I mean, haven't you ever been in love before? Love that makes you lie, cheat, and steal? No, I'm sorry, I haven't been that lucky. Well, neither had I. But when you fall in love with somebody who doesn't even know you exist, I mean, you spend all of your time trying to make them notice you. You end up eating, sleeping, breathing it. Sam, everything that you do is to get her to give you the time of day, to feel about you the same way that you feel about her. That is why I've been doing all of these awful things. I couldn't see it any other way. But look, now that Kelly and Nick are going to get married, I'll forget about her. And I'll be the uh, same old lovable Dylan that I used to be. Do you honestly think I'd buy that? All you've ever been is in competition with Nick. I can still remember the evil little smirk on your face every time one of his checks came for your medical school tuition. I can remember how you used to brag about being able to con him out of the money, Dylan. Look, I have never been as smart or as smooth were successful as Nick. So yes, maybe I wanted to show him up a time or two. <laughs> we're brothers. We're supposed to compete. But no matter how I ever felt about Nick at any given time, this thing with Kelly is totally apart from that. Of course it is, Dylan. Because there never really was a contest. Kelly has never loved anyone but Nick. And that's what you couldn't deal with. If anything made you crazy, it was that. Well, you don't know anything about love. Oh, maybe I haven't been desperately in love yet. But I do know that you don't twist someone you care about into knots like you have with Kelly. Well, I don't want to listen to your philosophy. Now, the only reason that I'm listening to you at all is because you're a friend of mine. Friend? 
friend that you had to carry through all these years? A friend who's been a dead weight? And incidentally, a friend who's got enough to send you up the river for a lot of years. Damn, I apologize for saying all those things. I didn't mean them, okay? I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm not finished. Sit down. You know, you're talking awfully big. Think it's big talk, Dylan? Walk out of that door and see what'll happen. I'll humor you. Yes, Dylan. Humor me. Now you have a choice. I can go to Warren Lockridge's newspaper and spill everything I know about the way you cheated people at the casino. And I'll make sure that you can't implicate Rick because I'm going to put that in the story as well. Or you can sign this bill of sale and give it to C.C. Capwell. I filled in the last offer C.C. made for your shares. You are going to sell out your shares you're going to give me my half. And then, Mr. Hartley, you're going to get out of town. Go ahead, do it, do it, frisk me, huh? Stick bamboozles under my fingernails, throw me in the pit with the pendulum. I am telling you, I don't have the pearls. Of course he doesn't. He's not a thief. He's been with me for the last hour and a half anyway. Oh, Courtney, you, you can be so naive. Criminals can be very clever. It's how they make their living. And you can be very unjust. Officer, my sister is very careless with her things. I'm sure that the pearl oh. pearls will turn up before long. Last time she lost something, it was a single diamond earring, and she blamed the maid for it, as if anyone would steal one earring. Would you just kindly keep out of this? Have you got anything to show you really own this necklace? Look at Officer, I saw the pearls myself this afternoon, a little bit earlier, but I sure don't know where they went to, okay? I do not need you to vouch for me, thank you. The pearls were purchased in the Orient. And yes, as a matter of fact, I do have a receipt, and if you'd like to come up with me, I'd be more than happy to show it to you. Pearl, I am so angry about this. She misplaces things all the time and blames them on other people. She's just picking on you. Yeah, I guess we have one of those hate-hate relationships you read so rarely about. Well, you're being much more charitable about this than I would be. Now, I'm going to go upstairs and look for the pearls. I'm sure she just put them in the wrong drawer or something. Okay. Excuse me. Sure. Probably won't need you right now. I'll go with it right away. Listen, I know you've got more serious things in your mind right now. But I wanted you to know I talked to my friend. He said there was one particular shop in town that sold that kind of wine. If you'd like me to, I can talk with him tomorrow and find out who bought it recently. No, Nick. It really doesn't matter now. Right, madam. Hey, psst, psst. If I was you guys, I would check the study. Uh huh. 
That's the last time I remember seeing her before she came back out here. Excuse me. Will one of you two come up here? I think that I found him. What? Uh, look, pal, if you have no objections, it's a little bit hot in here. Do you mind if I take my coat off? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Hey, lady, you wait up. Hi. Hi, I just heard. I'm so sorry about Kirk. You must be very upset. I seem to be taking it worse than Eden. Well, you know, everybody deals with tragedy in a different way. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Hey, listen, Eden knows about our plan, and she insists, in spite of everything, that we go on with the wedding. I think she'll be angry if we postpone it, so we better. Well, maybe if we can keep it a small wedding, we can please everyone. Especially me. I always wanted a small wedding. Yeah, I know. And I don't want to wait. Good. Good. Uh, what's the police car doing in the driveway? My cousin Madeline called them. She lost some jewelry and said that there was a robbery in the house. I don't know, it's so stupid. But I really want to go home. Is that okay? Well, let me go in and see if there's anything I can do to help. You know, just to make sure. All right, don't be long, though, honey. I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed. Okay, I'll be right back. You wait right here. Okay. All right. What's going on here? Uh, I wish I knew. Of course, I'm sure that I'm not lying. I'm not telling you that we need to. My brother is larger, better quality. Maybe we ought to look at, take a look at your place, buddy. Where do you live? Hey, you got no right to search my place. You understand me? You certainly don't. Madeline, have you thought to look in your purse? I certainly have. I mean, if I had put them there, don't you think I would remember? No, not necessarily. You tend to be scattered sometimes. It can't hurt to check. Do you mind? Not at all. Not at all. And you'll all find out that I'm absolutely right that they're... Oh, my God, they are here. I just read about Mr. Prince, and I'm really sorry. Thank you, Haley. I, I, I'm going in. But I, I hope he gets to that. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Why are you here? I came to see you, Father. Well, I think you should call first. I know it's late, but I think you'll be glad to see me. He's not home, though. So I suggest you call back tomorrow and make an appointment. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. By the way, I, I wanted to explain why I didn't congratulate you earlier on the wedding announcement. It, it, it's not that I was being rude. I just figured that this day would be canceled, same as the last one. Oh, is this a threat? You're going to do something to make us cancel this? No, I, I didn't mean it that way at all. Well, what did you mean? I just know what makes you tick. I know you can get Nick to feel anything that you want him to and, and have him jump through the hoops that you set up, but not you. You you can't do those tricks. No, you don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to do anything to break up this wedding. You're going to do all that yourself. Así, Kirk. Vas a ponerte bien. Estás en el hospital. Te recuperarás. Voy. Voy a morir. No. Deberías haber sido tú. Pero como soy yo, voy a contarlo todo. Uh -huh. ¿Todo? ¿Qué es todo? Lo que le hiciste a C.C. Y a mí. Si sigues hablando así, Kirk, voy a hacer lo mismo que intenté hacerle a C.C. Adelante. 
なんてレーベンで。Oh, está despierto, señor Creston. Su esposa está esperando fuera. ¿Quiere verla? Por favor. Lo que te he hecho. 